You look really uncomfortable in that dress. I'm sorry? I'm not saying you should be uncomfortable in that dress. You actually look very good in it. Excuse me. I'm just pointing out that you do look uncomfortable in the dress. Uh, who are you? I'm Steven. Marco, what's your name? Uh, I'm Lucy Albright. Lucy? Like my favorite song. What song? Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. <laughs> Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? That's your favorite song, really? <laughs> It'd be really cute if it was, wouldn't it? I'm like, f on that. <laughs> so, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. What are you gonna measure in? You know that song's about tripping on LSD? No, it's, a, it's supposed to be about a, a drawing that Lennon's son made in nursery school. It had stuck in my head when we met, so I Googled it. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm, I'm majoring in English. Really? <laughs> the language you already speak? Yep, I'm gonna be a travel writer. You sound very sure. I am. What? I'm sorry. It's not mine. What do you mean? I mean, it's not my hair tie. Uh, okay, some other girl probably left it here. Allie or someone. What was it, Allie or was it someone? Why are you being weird right now? I'm not being weird. You are. No, I'm not. It's a hair tie. I'm not, I'm not sleeping with anyone else. Neither am I. Okay, sorry, I got confused. It wouldn't bother me if you did, though. It wouldn't? Hmm? It wouldn't? It's your freshman year. I know you just got out of a relationship. You should be having fun. I wouldn't want to ruin that. You're not. You're so independent. It's why I'm attracted so to you. So are, are you sleeping with other people? No. Sure you don't mind being seen with me in public? What does that mean? Baby told me she saw you and Diana together. Right. Um, that was nothing. That's it's fine. It's was. completely fine. Really, I thought about it, and I don't know what to believe about you and Diana, but then I realized that it doesn't matter. And whatever happened before last night is in the past, and I just want to move forward with you and just have a clean slate. But I am done looking like a idiot. So I'm asking you to treat me with some respect from now on. Okay? Did you hate having me go to that with me? No, it's fine. If you didn't want people seeing us together, you could have just said that. Okay, I don't have time for whatever hormonal drama this is about. Oh, I'm on my period again. Nice. Yeah. You tensed up so much by the stage, I could feel it. I felt it. Lucy, anyone would think that's weird to make out in front of someone's ex. You should think that's weird if you were f***ing normal. Well, sorry, I don't care what Diana f***ing thinks. I didn't realize I was supposed to. You dragged me there on purpose. You were literally so paranoid. How could I How could I even do that? You never told me Diana sang a cappella. You wanted her to see us. You, you clearly did. I think you should worry a lot less about Diana's feelings and maybe start worrying about mine a little more. You think she'd keep your secret the way I am for you? Because I think if she found out about you and Macy, she'd be so worried about ruining your perfect little life, she'd probably report you immediately. Why did you tell people I was with you the night Macy died? I wasn't. I, I, I panicked. I, some girl down the hall said she thought she saw you talking to Macy, and I, I just wanted you to have an alibi. The only point of an alibi is if it's something people can't discredit easily. Do you understand that? Well, they can't. Nobody saw me that night. They saw me. I was out that night before I met up with Macy. Not to mention Evan, who slept in the same room as me the entire night. Nobody suspected me of anything. I'm sorry. But if I start telling obvious lies about where I was, it makes me look like I'm hiding something. Do you understand that? I'm really sorry, okay? I did not, I didn't think it through all the way. Yeah, I can see that, Lucy. 
Maybe you should stop trying to fix things. It's pretty clear you're not the best problem solver. Okay, why why are you this angry? It's not like you're getting in trouble. And who who brought this up to you anyway? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The point is, you keep making impulsive decisions and you're making everything worse. Okay, you can't talk to me like that. Why? Because you're used to me walking on eggshells around you. You walk on eggshells? Yeah. Really? Says the guy whose ego is so f fragile he can't mm. handle working in a front desk. I am constantly trying to make you feel bigger. Always. It's not ego, Lucy. It's f ambition. Not that I would expect you to understand that. You basically canceled your entire summer so you could sit at home and you could wait for me to f you. All I've done is try to help you. You're not helping me. And you keep making stupid decisions. Stupid decisions? Yeah. You want to talk Just about stupid down. decisions? You want to? Let's talk about you running away and leaving Macy dead in a fucking car. Was that a smart decision? You're f***ing lucky I care enough to keep it to myself. Are you threatening me? No, I'm not threatening you. I hurt your feelings a little bit, and you go and destroy my entire life. Are you telling me that's the kind of person no, you are? Is no, that what you're you saying? No, you know I wouldn't do that. You uh, know I wouldn't do that. Because if you tell people about me, then you're also admitting that you've been lying to everyone all f year. Plus the fact that you ruined Wrigley's okay. life when you said all that shit about Drew. Okay, okay, stop. Please stop. This is crazy. This is crazy. We're saying crazy things to each other. We we love each other. Okay. We love each other. I'm I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. Do you hear that? I'm not gonna do anything to hurt you. And you're not gonna do anything to hurt me.